Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're reacting to the EAFC 24 live stream reveal that included stars like Erling Holland, Ronaldinho, and other icons and heroes in person at the Amsterdam reveal event where they talked so much about EAFC and we learned a ton about the upcoming game. What we're going to be talking about in today's video as well is deep diving into a lot of the topics of what was released. Women in Ultimate Team, how is that going to affect things from cards and packs to the way that the game is played, all of that, including the new Evolutions cards and some of the biggest new changes to gameplay featuring the play styles, right? And some of the updated graphics and information that we have about EAFC. We're going to be talking about it all today. Guys, I'm really excited for EAFC. If you enjoyed the video, drop a thumbs up on it. And of course, subscribe if you're new. Enjoy the reactions. Let's see if this is the same thing as what we just watched or if it's different. All right, here we go. Is this like an actual live stream? Please welcome CEO of Electronic Arts, Andrew Wilson. Yo. Yo. Okay. Whoa, wait. Chat, this is a legit stream, bro. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Good evening. Welcome to Amsterdam. Friendship. Yeah, this is like an Apple Keynotes uh, like as speech, I grew, bro. I You're right. As Frozen. an Aussie kid who grew up on the beach, I had never seen this kind of environmental dark magic. So as I stood there clenching this ice cube shaped as a cup, looking enviously at those around me drinking warm red wine, I thought to myself, this is football. But it did prepare me for the next chapter of my football story, which was I got invited to go to Vancouver, Canada, where it also gets a little cold from time to time, and become part of the EA Sports football <laughs> video game team. This is football. We were the UN oh, man. A video game. Right, that was pretty we funny, 19 bro. nationalities speaking that what felt like funny. 20 different languages. Here with us tonight are the trophies of the world's greatest football competition. Oh, that's kind of sick. Representing the hopes and dreams of fans all, all over the zone. world. But you might have noticed there are a few items missing. Oh. Which suggests some big and exciting news for our fans. So much news, in fact, that I'm going to need some help in sharing it. Uh-oh. Please welcome to the stage an incredible athlete. UEFA Women's Champions League winner and EA Sports Ambassador, Alex Scott! Hey! All right. Okay. Okay. W? All right, three more trophies to go. Who's next? I didn't know we were... Uh... Welcome to the stage, oh. a man with a velvet first touch, FC icon and Ballon d'Or winner, Luis Figo! Oh! That's why he was in the trailer like that. Figo is, that's kind of sick. That's kind of sick. Hello there, Figo. Hey, yo. All right, two more trophies to go. Who's next? Who's next? It's a very nice trophy. Very nice. It is very nice. Thank you, Luis. Thank you so Who much. Who, L? Thank you for joining us. Alex? Yeah. Wait. What's oh, next? There's Wait, more. <laughs> there's more. Oh, more he just gives a heart and walks okay. up. <laughs> he just walked right off. He's like, nah, man, I'm out. Well, <laughs> one of the most loved competitions in global Brazil football League is Brazil. Mike Drop. the Premier Brazil. League, played Brazil. by millions of fans. Yo, this better fans. be Holland. Please welcome to the stage, everyone, four-time winner of the Premier League, and he is a Chelsea legend. It is Didier Drogba. Drogba. Oh. <laughs> Didier Drogba chat. Come on. Hey, yo. Okay, Drogba, okay. Okay. All right. Didier, merci. Merci. Is he going to walk off too? Yo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Come on, everyone. He's going down there, Didier. He doesn't know what to do, chat. She said yo. <laughs> she said yo. <laughs> no, I'm just sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so those guys aren't talking. All right. Fine. All right, this final competition sits at the pinnacle of men's European football. It's the ultimate expression of glory. Is this the Champions League? Names. We'll let the choir do the talking. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, it is. It is, it is, it is, chat. Oh, yeah. The champions! No way! Oh! Dino! You know, that is sick! There's Castro, he's right there. Dude, that's so sick. Yo. That is so sick, man. Wow. All right, fair play, fair play. 
Fair play. Thanks, man. Yo, is she gonna say yo? <laughs> that's awesome, man. That that's cool. That's really I cool, chat. One. Everyone, Ronaldinho, can you get any cooler than that? That's really cool, bro. That's sick. All right, chat. Content's in two minutes, by the way. Match day experience. So I'm excited for that, bro. Right? Our all new EA Sports <clears throat> Sapien technology, okay. which delivers body forms 10 times more precise than previous iterations. Yeah, the Nunez loading screen's gone. You can see here in the animation of the kits, GPU cloth finally models the fits of modern football. Okay. Now you can see player athleticism as kits respond to players as they move. All right, all right. And Frostate, Frostbite powers an all new match day experience, as you see here. Dynamic match intros and nice, match really day menus that. will showcase never before seen angles of the action. Oh, that's cool, I like that. Including new footage of pundits and commentators. And like the locker room, now, that's cool. That's a lot. We have one more to highlight. Mm. Our third piece in the Trinity All of right, technology. All right, here we go. Play styles. Play styles. What's this? Optimized by Opta. As many of you know, by Opta. Opta has been the industry leader in understanding player data for 25 years. With this collaboration, we've equipped footballers with their signature abilities, and we're calling those play styles. Okay. So Sam Kerr without play styles might miss the target. Sam with the finesse finishing play style mm. clearly finds the back of the net. Okay. Take it from me. This is the best gameplay we've ever had. And we also have massive news in our modes. It starts with Ultimate Team. All right, Ultimate Team, let's go. This is the biggest player pool we've ever introduced, including heroes, icons, and six different competitions, mm. unlocking the most squad building opportunities you've ever had. All right. An ultimate team is also introducing evolutions, allowing you to upgrade players throughout the season based on your play, so you can build true, unique club legends in your squad. W! Our focus Let's for like FC level 24 up. is only matched by our ambition oh. for the massive FC ecosystem. Yo, that could be that sick. Includes. Absolutely love it. And we're not done just yet. Oh. We have one last thing. Nah, dude. Is he there? Nah, chat. He's there. Holland is there. Hey, yo. That is so sick. He's going to talk, too. Let's go. Oh, that's awesome, bro. That is amazing. That is amazing, bro. Up the Erling Holland. Getting pajamas. <laughs> That's cool. That's that's super sick. He had to wear the same green chat as EFC Everyone, green. welcome Erling Holland to the FC family. Thank you. Nice. That's so cool, bro. Congratulations, Erling. It's been a remarkable season. Premier League goal scoring record, the treble. We're so so proud to have you grace the cover of this very special uh, Chad, this is sick, bro. There it is. There it is, Erling Haaland on the cover. Boom. What do you think? How did we do? No, I like it, I have to say. <laughs> it's not bad. <laughs> no, I really like, uh, oh, first of all, the picture is really nice from the game. Well, I scored five goals, so that's a good start. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and also, uh, I mean, it's a dream. Everyone knows that uh, as a footballer and everything, it's a dream uh, for every single guy that plays football. Uh, and then to be, to be able to be on the cover is uh, it's really nice. So, uh, so I'm really happy and uh, yeah, it's a, it's a really proud moment. There you go. There you go, deserved. <laughs> Yo, what's up, RD? <laughs> Thanks Thank for the you, Erling, though. for joining Night us on this YouTube memorable day. Thank you, everyone. Have we come down That's tonight. the end of the show. Goodbye from Amsterdam. <laughs> All right. So they brought Erling up on stage and they ended it. GG's. GG's, honestly. That's really insane, bro. Chat, there is the FC24 website. has been, like, updated with Holland on it. Every ultimate team is unique. Build your dream 11. 
Develop your own club legends. For the first time ever, you can improve players in your club via Ultimate Team Evolutions, a new way to build your squad around the players you love. Choose player that fit, fit the Evolutions criteria. Compete a set of objectives to improve their overall skills, playstyles, and overall ratings to keep them competitive throughout the year. Let's freaking go. Chat, this is literally the level up promo from the start of the year. It is literally this promo that we are in right now from the start of the year is what it sounds like, bro. And I'm sure keeping them competitive throughout the year, they're not going to be like ahead of the power curve by any means. You'll be even to level up your player items with how they look with new designs and animated backgrounds so you can flex on your opponent with your homegrown evolutions players and all the milestones they've reached for the club. Huh. All right, that's cool. Women in Ultimate Team FAQ. Oh, this this is going to be, this is a lot of news. Okay, we've all wondered about this. How are the men and women going to work in Ultimate Team chat? Ultimate Team unites both halves, both halves of the world's game, bringing men and women's football together. In FC24, Ultimate means everyone. For more on how they're going to be included, scroll down and read the FAQs. Okay. Will men and women compete on the same pitch? Yes, all players will compete on the same pitch. You'll have the opportunity to create hybrid squads with more players than ever. How will men and women's footballers be integrated together across everything in Ultimate Team? They'll both be in packs. Both men's and women's footballers will be available together in packs. Okay, the transfer market. All the tradable players will be searchable on the transfer market, per usual. Objectives. They'll be in rewards. SBCs. You will be able to submit all players in SBCs as long as they meet the requirements. Nationality, positions, league clubs. The introduction of more players will essentially mean more possibilities when it comes to completing an SBC. So literally, chat, it sounds like they're adding in the women's players just like... Just like the men's, or as gold cards, they'll probably be bronzes, silvers, golds, and then rares and non-rares of all versions, bro. Like, to me, that doesn't change that much. I, I don't know about you guys, that doesn't change that much. It's going to add a lot more aspects in for probably, like, doing the early game SBCs. There's going to be now women's players that will also work. Like, if it's an English player that's, like, a right mid, when before you would have had to think of, like... Townsend to put into the SBC. Now you've got another option, you know, type of thing. That's probably going to mean a lot for pack weight too. It's going to mean just more golds and packs is what it's going to mean. And silvers and bronzes, right? I don't know if it says specifically in here, but I think that means they're going to be available in promos as well because it says in packs, both men and women's footballers will be available together in the pool of players. This means it's going to be harder to pack good cards. Maybe. I mean, EA is going to, EA is going to figure out the weight. They're going to get it to be where they want it to be as they always do. To me, it's not that big of a deal. I'm just going to learn a lot more about women's football this year because we're going to have to learn more and about the players because it's going to be in FIFA, bro. I think from a, a perspective of playing the game of FIFA and the players, especially us that are very market conscious, that are very trading conscious, that we like to buy and sell cards, we know which ones move up and down or what's needed for SBCs, everybody's going to learn more about women's football this year. And uh, just because they're going to be able to be turned into SBCs just like a non-rare gold or a rare gold, bro. It's great for the women's game and exposure to it. It definitely is going to bring a lot of exposure to the women's game. Yeah, man. All right. Will there be new icons or heroes? Yes, there will be women's icons and heroes. Some more information to come. How will chemistry work? Chemistry will remain the same with one additional opportunity to link players across men and women's football. This year, you'll be able to link women's footballers to men's footballers who play for their affiliated club. So, like, if you have Chelsea Sam Kerr and you have Chelsea Enzo Fernandez, they will link because they're both on Chelsea. Good. It's not just the women's players linked to women's and the men's linked to men's, right? No. Nah, that, that needed to ha I think that needed to happen. That's only for club. That's not league. You just can't link, like, a women's Premier League footballer and a men's Premier League footballer. They'll, they don't get chemistry because it's not the same league. But if it's the same club, then it then they do. How will rating... Ooh, this is a good question. How will ratings work? All players in Ultimate Team are rated relative to the players they play against on the pitch in the real world. Ratings will be consistent with other modes in the game. Example, if a player is 85 rated in kickoff, they'll also have a base overall of 85 in Ultimate Team. How are women's ratings right now in the game? I haven't played like the women's the kickoff mode or like the World Cup mode. The women's ratings are about the same as the guys, right? Everything seems to be like a one-to-one -one comparison between the guys and the women in Ultimate Team with the way the cards are going to be in packs, with the way they get chemistry and all that. So I think the ratings are going to be about the same as well. Icon Mia Hamm or Alex Scott, whatever icon or hero, whatever card she is, Probably going to be mid to high 80s or, or 90s like a regular icon would be. Now, also, it says 
if a player is 85 rated in kickoff, they'll have a base overall of 85 in ultimate team. I don't think that means that their base overall card will upgrade. I think that's a static, whatever they start the year out as. They'll go, you guys know that in kickoff, the, the ratings update, right, throughout the year. Will women's footballers be a part of future live service campaigns? I mean, you can say, we knew this based off of that pre-order thing, right? Players from across the world's game will be available in SBC's objective moments and more. This is why I think it's going to be the, the women's cards in packs too. Receive an untradeable UCL slash UWCL hero in Ultimate Team. They've even given a date, the 27th of November. Uh, Ultimate Edition bonus, you get the Nike EA Sports kit. You get a campaign loan item for the Nike cards. And that the Nike promo is during early access. Seven days early access, 4,600 FC points, and a Team 1 Player of the Week. All pre-orders include dual entitlement, Erling Holland loan. Actually, I do want to talk about this. They're really, really pushing play styles. A lot. Like that Vinny in the trailer. Remember how he kicked the... Yeah, right there. That video. Play styles, dimensionalized athletes. They enhanced signature abilities. Think about Holland's power shot. So this to me sounds like traits, but also chemistry styles, Chad. I don't know. I guess it's more of a trait thing than a chemistry style thing. Because the thing they mentioned in that video was a finesse shot, right? They said Sam Kerr going for a finesse shot if she didn't have the trait would not be as good than if she had the trait it's like a trait in fifa but it's not already on the card you can somehow like apply it to the card so it sounds like traits as normal like we've always known but you can somehow update them and add them like a chemistry style on a card and it's not just a card has a trait and it's got it or it doesn't you know it's like traits but you can apply them i think people are going to be disappointed with this aspect of the release chat this aspect of the release, they're going to be like, nah, man, all they're doing is talking about play styles and frostbite when it comes to, and hypermotion when it comes to gameplay. I think EA had to put so many resources this year into the, like the new brand and to like EAFC, all the partnerships, like it, so much work goes into that. I think that probably the game itself is going to be, it'd be updated and it's going to be a new game. But it may not be as like all crazy new stuff that we see every year. Like every year it's like, oh, they change stuff with shooting. They change stuff with goalkeepers. They change stuff with dribbling, you know? I'm sure they had to put more effort and time and emphasis on the EAFC side of things for this year. It might be really similar to FIFA 23, yeah. This is the craziest Ultimate Edition ever, chat. All the stuff that you get, legit access to a whole promo that nobody else will get access to. That's crazy. EA is going to sell so many titles for that. Have they said the prices yet? Save 10% with EA Play. $89.99. But then also sometimes, remember how at the front of actual FIFA, it says get an extra 10% off if you pre-order it from inside the game. I would wait if you're trying to get the best value, you could wait for that because as of right now, it doesn't show anything in here about FC24 pre-orders on the home screen, but it might. So you maybe want to wait for that. Is there anything else I need to look through here, chat? We're excited to announce that crossplay has expanded into the following modes in FC24. Clubs, co-op, Volta, Ultimate Team Co-op, Squad Battles, Rivals, and Friendlies. Crossplay will continue to be available on Ultimate Team Rivals Champs Draft. Online Play a Friend. Nice. So you can do crossplay now in Pro Clubs. Nah, they didn't say anything about the market. No. There, there's a market. I, I know that much. Like, we're going to have a market. But nothing about crossplay with that. Crossplay is going to be still new gen and old gen. And the Switch will be excluded from any cross-platform play. It doesn't say anything about the market being a change from that cross-platform or if it's going to be the same two markets from this year. That's a lot of news. And it's it's different. It's completely different adding the women in. Like, there's a lot of stuff on here. I would recommend you guys going to the EAFC, web, EAFC website, um, which if you just Google EAFC, you can see the whole trailer, the reveal event. It's all on here. 